I want to thank you all for this opportunity this morning to introduce HTP Architects to you and talk about how I feel that we are the right fit for you for your upcoming on-call selection process. Not only the on-call architect, but also the campus architect to speed your projects for the next two years. And I truly feel that we are the right fit not only for experience, but also geographic proximity for the needs that you have. <laughs> there we go. Well, at least go that way. It's always important if you find one roadblock, you find a way around it. Very briefly, I'm Brian Poppy. I'm a partner in the HKP Architects. I've been here 27 years. In those 27 years, 99% of the work that I've been doing is part of HKP as Civic Architects. This is the work that we do as a firm, and it's what I enjoy doing as well. It's the libraries, it's the UCLA schools, the things we really feel are the foundation of strong communities. When you go to a community in the school, the government, the community spaces are strong, we know that that's a strong community. And we feel a vested interest in making our communities strong as well. Geographic proximity, this really matters for the on-call procedures. On-call is a lot of times brush fires. Something is needing immediate attention and geographic proximity matters. We are literally minutes from your front door. It can be five o'clock on a Friday afternoon and cars are into the corner of your buildings. It could be an impromptu meeting with a new industry titan that wants Sketch Valley College to provide training for a new program. We are minutes from your front door. As a matter of fact, we are eight minutes from <laughs> we are eight minutes from the Mount Vernon campus or 44 minutes from the harbor and taking the ferry two hours 15 minutes but still we're the closest to the ferries and we can get there faster than anyone else we look at project management every project is going to have a partner in charge and a project manager some of the projects that are larger will have more people involved will have additional project managers will involve additional support one of the important aspects of that hkp is quality control the partner partners at hkp are julie wozniak and myself and depending on the project will be the primary determinant of who takes the lead on the project. Julie is very skilled in large group facilitation and planning discussions. And those types of projects will feature Julie more than myself. But what's important is that with HKP, the people that you see at the beginning of the project is who you see at the end. We don't have just helicopter Partners that show up to sign the contract and then show up for approval. Partners are involved from beginning to end, whether it's face to face or within the office, directly with the project manager, the project partners. Outside of the project, the partner that is not directly involved then provides quality control. So it's that skilled third party set of eyes. That doesn't have the best of interest in what's on the paper, but needs to understand it as if they were an architect, or excuse me, as if they were a contractor walking in, seeing it in fresh eyes. Very quickly, looking at what our production capabilities are right now, <clears throat> what you see is our reality, and that is with public. Work, 
quarter, especially with community colleges, those projects have kind of down the biennium. Well, our current biennium ends right here. So do the majority of our projects, which means we have a large amount of our schedule three for your projects going forward for the next two years. We look at the campus architect as a planning position for you. We will be the ones working with you to help plan those next two years projects on your campus. As a project gets developed, the first step is project scoping. And I won't really turn this into a group reading exercise, but the first step is project scoping. And we look at that as when you invest time into a project. There isn't a lot of production at this point, but this is learning about your needs, learning about your projects, investing the time to go slow now so that we can make efficient decisions later. That leads into design and finally construction ending in a year afterwards, we'll participate with you in a one year post occupancy evaluation. We have been here for 65 years. We, as I noted, focus on civic projects, schools, museums, libraries, the pieces in your community, specifically to community college work. Here's a couple big projects, which is perhaps out of the scope of on call. But this was a 20,000 square foot project, process technology building up at Bellingham Tech. And Morse Center, which is welding and auto technology at Bellingham Tech. Go through these quickly. One thing that I think is really notable about these is in this project, there are no electric lights turned on in them, and yet it's a useful work environment. It's one of the things that we focus on is sustainability, choosing the right materials, working with daylight, working with um, site selection to make the right choices for a sustainable outcome. Getting more to the scope of your work, we have three roof projects for, for Edmonds Elementary School. This was the Hazelwood 20 year old roof that had deteriorated substantially. They're relying on really goofy flashing details, a couple of these ceilings in a prayer to keep things from leaking. They also, at one point, the original architects decided that glass skylights would be good in canopies. They've been finding shoe prints on the glass. We thought it'd be a good idea to replace those canopies with complete pieces of metal roofing. All the shingles were replaced, all within their budget. We also do interior work. These are labs at Western Washington University. And we realized that we're designing 75-year buildings. We also understand that these are not 75-year curriculum. So a lot of times the work, and this is specifically with the on-call projects is the continual renovation spaces to meet new needs. Again, with that budget. And finally, this is a project that we contractually cannot name, but it's a local farm stand renovation. It is starting its project or starting its process or getting into design. It will be done in 2021. You know, this has been a very quick run through of our experience, but we really feel that HKP Architects has the experience and the local connections to be the right choice for 